What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master 1 and welcome back for some more Shadows of Valentia. This time we're gonna take on Emperor Rudolph himself and we're gonna be conquering the Regalian Empire. <sighs> then the fortress has fallen. It has, Your Excellency. I fear it's a matter of minutes until the Deliverance reaches the castle doors. Very well. We shall greet them with a sea of blades. I leave the rest to you, Messena. As your will commands, Your Excellency. Now go. Your Excellency, wait! Burkut. Sire, why have you not given me leave to join the front lines? I know I failed you at the border, but all the more reason I beg for this chance! A merciful leader may grant a second chance. Only a fool allows a third. Your Excellency! My army has no place for the weak. You'll remain here and watch in quiet. No. Please. Have mercy, sire! Your Excellency! Uncle! All right, so here we are on this map. Now on the hard mode, this is what this map is gonna look like. And if you're playing on the normal mode, then all of the troops are gonna be here and Rudolph is gonna be somewhere here, I think. Yeah, and you can then camp on the healing tile with some of your units by warping them here. And um, what I'm gonna be doing here is that I'm gonna be teleporting Matilda here and Tobin here. So let's put Tobin here. And let's put Silk in between, and we're gonna be using our two Barons as our meat shields because um, these Gold Knights are pretty strong and they have got Silver Shield. And uh, some of these uh, Barons also have Javelin, so they can definitely hit pretty hard. And I think we are good to go. Uh, we can also put Tatiana here. And pretty much units with low movement in middle. And I think we are good to go, so let's begin. Brave warriors of Regal, you have fought with courage and skill at my side these long years. But the hour of reckoning is upon us. Our empire's light is guttering. Now heed my words well. If I should fall, my final order is that you lay down your arms and surrender. I hear the young Zophian general is a man of mercy. If you have any love and loyalty for me, you'll not waste your lives this day. That's Emperor Rudolph. This is strange. I'm not sure what I'm feeling at the moment. He's caused so much suffering, and I know I should hate him, but I can't. Instead, he just feels... I don't know... familiar somehow? Ohm! Snap out of it, will ya? There's no time for daydreaming! We're at Regal Castle's doorstep, buddy. We need you focused. Now pull yourself together already! We didn't come this far to lose here! Uh, right. Sorry, Gray. All right, everyone. Let's do this! It's definitely very nice of Emperor Rudolph to command his units to run away if he falls. He does not want any kind of needless death of his people, which is pretty respectable, actually. So, um, okay. You can put Forsyth here and Lucas here. And let's do some warp cheese, as always. And we can actually, um... I can go here, warp Matilda over here, and she has got Rider's Bane, which is pretty good. And best. I think I'm gonna go. put Delphia here, and I'm gonna trade uh, the Silver Shield to her, as uh, Delphia is gonna be uh, battling here on this passage, and Tatiana is just gonna be in the back healing up Matilda. So let's go ahead and attack this uh, bow knight and they've also got silver bow yeah so they're pretty strong but not strong enough to stop Matilda 
there we go. Our first fight is gonna begin with a crit, and that definitely means something. So, basically what I want to do is I want to use my barons as meat shields, and then I want to use my mages to attack these barons and gold knights from the uh, back of these barons, so that uh, I can do a lot of damage to them. Because you're not really going to be doing any kind of damage to these gold knights with silver shields. And these barons are also pretty tough. So yeah, that's the basic plan. And uh, let's put arm here. I've given Grey the lightning sword because like I said, um, we do need magical damage for this map. Because of these barons and silver shield um, gold knights. And let's put Bay here. And he can stay here and Python can go here. Okay, so all of these units are going to be attacking Matilda. That's completely fine as she can dodge most of them. Okay, so this guy is going to go ahead and camp on the healing tile. And they have started to move. Alright, so... Um, let's, uh, take out Vesbo Knight. Hopefully Matilda can hit. Uh, that would be really nice if she could hit, but I believe in her. Oh, never mind. She's gonna miss. That happens. So let's heal up Matilda, and then, um, just gonna use my... Um, I'm just gonna use my barons as a meat shield, and I'm gonna put them here, move Zeke here, and I can put Luthier here, and Cliff here, then I can just proceed to warp, um, Tobin here, so that he can deal with, uh, these bone knights. I'm just gonna put him here, and he's gonna be camping on this healing tile, and he's gonna be pretty much baiting out all of these bone knights, and I can put Forsyth, actually Python here, and Forsyth here, so that Forsyth can get that uh, support from Python, and we can definitely put Clive here, and I think we are good to go. Arm um, like this, we can definitely heal up Silk. And let's end our turn. Yeah, so these Bonites are going to be attacking Tobin. They have really, really bad accuracy. And Tobin can double them. And also crit them if he's in the mood. So then goes that Bone Knight. Now, of course, we can also just go ahead and do some kind of warp cheese and take out Emperor Rudolph right away. But there is no fun in that, and we are Zofian scum, so we're gonna get all of the experience by killing all of his troops. Or pretty much close to all of his troops. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. And this gold knight is gonna be attacking for 4 damage. Yeah, and you're really gonna be doing only 1 damage to these bulky, bulky gold knights. And these barons have also started to move along with that uh, bow knight, so we definitely need to kill you. Please, Matilda, hit. Alright, good. I'm in fine form of late. You are actually always in form, and that's why you're one of the best units in the game. So, uh... We can put life like this and this bow knight might actually hit hard but that is fine um let's use arrow spell on this gold knight attack him for a bit of damage and then um i can just use aura spell to take you out or actually even fire spell and that's why I've given Delphia the silver shield because she's gonna get attacked by that bow knight 
she might get attacked. So, we have to watch out for that. I can just attack this golden eye from here. Do a bit of damage and then move Cliff back here and use Magic Ring to take out this gold knight. You watching? And that's gonna take him out. We are off to a really good start actually. And um okay. I do not want my barons to get um to get pressured by these other barons but i think that will be fine yeah that will be fine that will reduce the area this bow knight can reach and that is always good so let's heal up cliff and then we can heal up um Matilda can definitely take some healing and then we can heal up Luthier and we can put Grey here um, Okay, they can definitely attack my Grey That's fine That is completely fine and then Tobin can finish off this bow knight Wow, Tobin is really in a great mood right now. He's getting all of these crits. Alright, and then um, only Arm is left. And he's got the silver bow. Um, I'll give him the royal sword and I'll just wait. Yeah, so you're gonna be attacking us with Javelin. Do a lot of damage, damn. 10 damage and you're gonna be attacking Grey. As you're just gonna miss and you take 16 damage back. No, oh, so you're gonna be attacking Grey as well. I see how it is. Okay, so now what we can do is just attack these guys. And take them out. With Matilda. Matilda is so good with Rider's Bane. That's one of the reasons why you should definitely uh, spend your resources in... Uh, in forging Rider's Bane. So, uh, let's actually... Okay. Are we in anyone's range? Nope. Okay. So we can go ahead and attack you, but... Actually, I'm gonna use... I have to take out these barons first. That's the thing. So let's use Aura Spell to take you out. I guess I could have used Delphia. She does have Ragnarok. So that could have been really nice. Everything seems so much clearer. All right, and let's see the range of Rudolph. Okay, this is his range, and I can handle it. Uh, we could definitely go ahead and attack you with Forsyth. Forsyth has got 18 defense. And Rudolph has got uh, 30 attack, 12 times 2. Wow, you're going to be doing a lot. You're going to be doing a lot indeed. So we can attack you from here with Python. And then we can finish you off with Grey. Fantastic. And then we can just use Grey and take you out. Okay, I miss out on the KO. Unfortunately, so... Hmm. I think... I could definitely just go ahead and... Attack you from here and then rescue. Yeah, that can be done. So I'll attack this uh, Bow Knight with Forsyth. I can even leave him in the range of uh, Rudolph, but honestly, I do not want to challenge Rudolph right now. I want to kill some of those gold knights and get some experience. So, 
yeah, now we can attack him with Gray. So let's attack him and take him out. All right, down goes that Bow Knight, and then I can just uh, rescue Forsyth because I do not want uh, Rudolph to approach me right now. So let's rescue Forsyth, and then uh, what we can do is just put uh, Lucas like this. And then we can just use Ragnarok, actually. Oh, this guy has got Javelin, I forgot. Yeah, so we can use Aura Spell. Um, that is fine. He does not really have any chances of critting us. So, yeah, because of Silver Shields, he'll be able to take that hit. And then we can always just heal up Delthea. And it's completely fine. So let's go ahead and heal her up. And let's move Zeke here. Clear all the way here. Um, okay, so you can go here, and uh, are you going to be attacking us? That's the question. Yeah, you're going to be attacking us, definitely. And Matilda probably does not need healing. I can heal up Delthea. And then I can just heal up Matilda. I'm not able to reach Matilda. Yeah, she's just way out of range. Okay, I can heal her up from here. So let's do that. And then I can just move Clive here. And yeah, Tobin can just stay on the healing tile. Rudolph has charged in. All right. So we're going to be attacking him for sure. Okay. Please get a crit, Tobin. Oh my god, you're gonna miss 88% accurate hit? you got to be kidding me. So I guess uh, I'll have to take out Rudolph. I can definitely take him out with uh, Delthea. I can definitely do that. Um, where is Arm? Um, okay, we'll need to rescue Arm um, or actually warp him because you guys need to see this. So I'm gonna warp him right here. And I'll try to get any kind of experience that I can before I take out Rudolph. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna take out this guy with Matilda. So I'm just gonna try to get as much experience as I can before I finish him off. And he does have Angel Ring. Okay, Tobin, let's take him out. Please get a crit. Okay, no crits. That's fine, I guess. And, um... We can just go ahead and attack you, I guess. We do not really one-shot you. That's really unfortunate. So we, who needs experience, actually? Zeke definitely needs some experience. So we're gonna go ahead and attack you from... Here. Do a lot of damage. And then Zeke can come in and kill you. Alright, let's take you out. And Zeke can get some experience. Okay, death magic has got really bad accuracy, so... It's no surprise that these guys always miss. And we're gonna get mana herbs. And yeah, there are a lot of mana herbs. So we can definitely try to get that. Um, let's do that. Let's attack you. Clive is at level 2. And, yeah, okay. So, we can attack this guy with Clive. He only has 1% chance, I think, to crit us. Yeah, he's not really gonna crit us, but he's gonna hit... Um, and then, let's, uh, take you out with Gray. Actually, I do not want to do that. Let's do this. I can just attack him with Ragnarok and do a lot of damage to him. I can do a lot of damage to him. And I, then I can also use Gray, I guess. I can just attack him with all of my mages, pretty much, and weaken him a lot. 
So let's use uh, arrow spell. Come, strike me. This music definitely reminds me of uh, Code Geass music. So let's use Double Lion, and that is fine. He's not gonna be attacking us, just like in the Gaiden. What's going on? Why won't you attack? What are you planning, Rudolph? So yeah, Rudolph is not gonna be attacking Arm, even when Arm attacks him. So we can definitely let uh, Delphia get this kill with Ragnarok. So let's finish off Emperor Rudolph, rest in pieces. This is as it should be. Well, I'm proud of you, my son. What? I knew I was right to entrust you to my dearest friend. Your friend? You mean... my son? What's going on here? What are you saying? I thought you'd have realized by now your true name. Your true name is Albine Om Rudolph. You are my one and only son. I... What? That can't be true. You're lying. Why should I believe a word you say? <coughs> be still, Om. I haven't time left to explain. But I beg you to grant me one final favor. You want a favor from me? Take the divine fortune that sealed Miller's strength. Doma has become a thing of mindless evil. Use the blade and destroy him. Please, my son, you must. No, wait! Emperor Rudolph! Were you truly my father? Then I've just... Oh, gods! What have I done? <laughs> Stop! Please, no more! Um... The boy will come to slay Lord Duma ere long. A fool's errand, I fear, without falchion. Om is coming here? Please, you mustn't hurt him! My soul alone is all you need, yes? Oh? Then you will offer up your soul to Lord Duma willingly? I will. If it saves Om, I will surrender my soul gladly. <laughs> As you wish, your highness. Now, come with me. Wow, that was something else. That was really painful. Like, you could feel the pain from Arm's voice. So, that voice acting is just amazing. And, uh, yeah, Rudolph finally did what he had to do. But, I think that he could have been much more polite and loving to Berkut because he knew that this was gonna be his last battle and that's why he said Berkut to stay out of that because he didn't want his nephew to die in that same battle. I do understand that but still he could have some said something like that you've done well this and that because all this time Berkut was pretty much raised to be an emperor of Regal and succeed Rudolf and when he said that there is no place for the weak in the army, that was really harsh. I don't know, I just feel like that. So let's save. And uh, let's explore uh, Regal Castle. So let's go in. 
And uh, here, um, I do not think we can find anything. Yeah, there is really nothing on the um, entrance, so let's talk to these soldiers. Long live His Excellency Rudolph II! Welcome home, Prince Albine. So yeah, these people are pretty welcoming. Let's go to the central hall. Welcome home, Prince Albine. I am Masena, captain of Emperor Rudolph's Imperial Guard. His Excellency told me everything before facing you in battle. Afterward, I gathered the remnants of his forces and awaited your arrival. He told you everything? Are you telling me he knew he was going to lose? That he expected to die by his own son's hand? I am afraid I cannot speak to His Excellency's intentions. I humbly ask that you visit the throne and listen to what Sir Mycin has to say. Mycin is here? And here, um, we can find some steel weapons. Okay, steel lance. And then steel uh, bow. Okay, I just missed that. And uh, steel sword. Yeah, we can find that. And then... Um, okay, my convoy is full. Uh, I didn't really want to do this. Like, I want all of the items, I guess. I'll send this orange. And... Let's talk to this guy. I was present when Emperor Rudolph marched on the Temple of Mila. I know the blade he used to seal her power away, the Divine Falchion, had long been housed in the treasure vaults beneath Duma Tower. Though I fear I do not know what became of it after. Now we can go to the um, throne room and talk to Sir Mycin. Yeah, there is nothing here. So let's go ahead and talk to him. So you've come home. Grandfather, what the hell is going on? What are you doing here? Rudolph said I was his son. And now all these people are calling me a prince. It's only natural that you're feeling confused. But there is no denying fact. You are the only son of Emperor Rudolph. Scion of the Regellian Imperial bloodline and true heir to Regel's throne. How could you? You knew all this time. And yet you kept it from me. You knew. And you still sent me off to kill my own father. Please remain calm, Olm. Let me explain. Best I start at the very beginning. As you well know, Valentia has always been divided north from south. Split between the two gods, Mila and Duma. But their involvement with mankind eventually grew too deep. When madness takes a god, man is lost. And where gods meet ruin, men die too. That is the plight Valentia now faces. You're saying the gods are... dying? I fear so. Rudolph was among the first to understand the signs. He saw Duma's growing madness and knew it for a harbinger of ruin. But then you were born home. What does that have to do with any of this? You bore the brand. Sign of the hero who would rise to save Valentia. Hearing that prophecy, Rudolph knew you must be kept hidden from the faithful. He concealed the news of your birth and entrusted you to me and Sophia. I will never forget the pain on his face when he placed you in my arms. <laughs> That day marked a change in him. He donned the mantle of one who would destroy the old world order. One who'd free men to live by their own power, even if they hated him for it. He knew such heresy would bring forth those who wished for his death. So for that death to come at the hand of his beloved son was a mercy. He told me himself that he could imagine no more peaceful end. And what of my peace? This is not the time for mourning or self-pity, boy. Rudolph's purpose now falls to you. The true foe you must defeat is Duma, as well as the zealots tainted by his madness who seek control of Valentia. Jeddah and his Duma faithful. If you do not hurry, Selica's life will also be in peril. 
Oh, gods. Selica. She set out in search of Duma in order to save Mila. A passage beneath this castle leads to the Temple of Duma. Go on. Go and finish this. Return the mad god Duma to the darkness from whence he came. His whole story was a lie. Alm's youth, his days of training with Mycen, all were but calculations in a far-reaching plot by his lord father, Emperor Rudolph. Alm had taken his father's life, and that sadness would stay with him always. But destiny would not permit this son of the brand to simply walk away. Valentia lay yet in the grip of Duma, the wicked god, the war father, as well as Alm's dear Selica, who would become Duma's willing servant. Alright, so that is going to be it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to begin Act 5, and we're going to take on the Duma Temple. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.